So hey everyone, I thought I'd have a little go at making a vlog. It's uh, it's something that I've never done before. So let's see how it goes. Um, I'm just heading to activism, just parked my car and I'm walking into the city centre to try and do some interviews. And I thought I'd talk quickly about something that people don't often talk about and that is pre-activism anxiety because I think it stops a lot of people from being active uh, and that's a shame. So um, I think when we become vegan and we become an activist as well, we feel a whole lot of pressure on us. It's like we have to be experts on farming and agriculture. Uh, we need to know about the environment, habitat destruction, um, ocean dead zones, uh, uh, health as well as another one, about protein, about calcium, about B12, and we feel like we need the experts on all that stuff. That's just not the case. Um, obviously we need some knowledge on the subjects, but we do not need to be experts. And also we need to remember that we are speaking for other animals. We're not really speaking about the environment and we're not really speaking about human health. So that's the first thing to remember. And also, um, I mean, I've been doing activism for a long time now, possibly, sorry about this, I in the background, uh, possibly 10 years now. Started with AV and then branched out into working with other people and by myself. So, um, even I get anxious when I'm going into town to speak for the animals. Um, like I do my homework. I listen to Gary Yorovsky's speech at least once a month. I listen to other activists doing activism, like Joey Carbstrong, and it's Mel and Steve, and uh, Ursula Ned, David Rams, um, even old James Aspie videos and stuff. So I'm learning all the time. I'm thirsty for, for knowledge and thirsty to know how to speak to people and try and make a real difference. So even though I've got a wealth of knowledge behind me and hours and hours and hours of activism on the street talking to people, I still get nervous. But what I do is I walk in like I am today. I get to my spot. And I tell myself, I'm here to speak for the other animals. <laughs> and if I'm not on my A game that particular day, well, at least I'm going to bring my B game <laughs> or my C plus game and do the very best that I can. That's all I can do. And, you know, if you think about it, think about how many people there are in the world. Um, and then divide that by how many vegans there are in the world. And then divide that again by how many activists there are. And okay, I'm surrounded by an activist community, but you actually think about how many activists are on the streets speaking for animals. There are so few of us. Um, so I get to my spot and I tell myself, I've showed up, I'm here, I'm going to do the very best that I can. I'm going <laughs> to... Do I go to people in that conversation or do they come to me? You know, different days, different vibes. Sometimes there's music in town and the sunshine and people are happy to stop. Other times it's raining. There's maybe like we get some Christian like hate preachers in town and it creates a different vibe with people. So I'm just going to do the best with what I can. Um, so I get to my spot. I take a few deep breaths. I tell myself, I'm here to speak to the animals. I've showed up and let's just see how it goes. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm almost in a city centre now. I hope this has been helpful for you. And I'd encourage everybody, if you're thinking about doing activism on any particular day, get yourself out of bed. And the first thing you tell yourself is today I'm going to show up and I'm going to speak to the other animals in the best way that I can. Alright folks, that's me done. Uh, I will talk to you all very, very soon.